hello friend today we will see how to calculate the steam consumption based on the given duty so first you need to understand what is duty duty means at from how much temperature you want to heat your product so you should know what is the initial temperature and what is the final temperature of product let's say i will explain you one example for milk if you want to heat from 4 degree to 80 degree celsius that is your duty so you have to heat from 4 to 8 degree celsius for that purpose you need some basic formulas you have to uh, you, you should know the basic formula which need to use during the steam calculation so first is the heat load calculation from the product side okay for that you have formula q is equal to that is heat load is equal to m cp delta t what is m m is the mass flow rate or volume which you have to heat for mass flow rate you should have a unit in kg per hour okay if you have flow rate in liter per hour then you should convert it into kg per hour then specific heat for that particular product let's say water milk okay then delta t delta t means temperature difference okay so this is for the product or liquid side for steam side we have formula q is heat load is equal to m lambda why m lambda it is for the steam m means mass flow rate of the steam and lambda means latent heat latent heat we can calculate from the steam table or you will get the value of lambda from the steam table for that purpose you should have a knowledge of steam table or you can use google to find the lambda at what temperature or what pressure if you put uh, latent heat at 3 bar you will get the value of latent heat at 3 bar from google okay so by using steam we are heating our product let's say water or milk so basically heat loss is equal to heat gain or heat gain by the any product is equal to the heat loss by the steam or heating media so heat gain is equal to heat loss so we have formula mcp delta t is equal to m lambda therefore mcp delta t becomes m lambda okay let us start with the some example okay so i want to heat milk from 4 degree celsius to 80 degree celsius i don't know the steam flow rate i have calculated this but now at this moment you don't have it this figure so x kg per hour of steam is required so my basic duty is to heat milk from 4 degree to 80 degree celsius so heat load from product side will be m into cp into delta t okay so for heat load calculation you should know what is your milk flow rate in your line or whatever the pasteurizer or thermizer cp you are you will get from the internet generally for milk water we assume 1 kilo calories per kg so we have m then cp and delta t what is delta t 80 minus 4 so q is equal to 20000 into 1 into 80 minus 4 so when you calculate q you will get this figure and also look towards the units what is the kg per hour this is kg per hour milk flow rate what is kilo calories per kg degree celsius that is cp specific heat of water or milk okay then what is delta t that is 70 that is degree celsius so i have calculated and when you my uh, divide the unit also you will get kilo calories per hour this is the heat load from product side which is in hour okay you want to heat particular product in one hour because you have flow rate in one hour that is then the steam calculation will happen in a kg per hour also now we have to now we have to equal it with the steam load so q is equal to from steam side is equal to m lambda lambda is the latent heat okay 
so from steam table from steam table at 3.5 bar pressure we have temperature 143 degree celsius okay and hence the lambda is 51 512 kilo calories per kg okay if you are not comfortable with steam table then you can use fob marshall tool to calculate the latent heat value so i don't have uh, let me check so uh, you can download it from the play store okay okay let us continue now i have calculated but later i will show you the tool okay so we have lambda is equal to 512 kilo calories per kg so and when we equal this value with our steam load so then m okay so m is equal to this value okay this load heat load from the product side divided by 512 kilo calories into kg per hour that is the units okay so now you will get the steam flow rate which is required to achieve our duty so m is equal to 2962.75 kilo uh, sorry kg per hour that is the steam flow required required steam flow rate okay by this method you can calculate for cip station and cip heater design you can do so now when you we look towards our heat exchanger or whatever the phe so i when i will uh, enter the 4 degree celsius i will get 80 degree celsius temperature out so that that's why i need this much amount of steam which we have calculated here okay so condensate will be with the same flow rate and with the same capacity so ho 